long-acting insulin, generic name Detmir and Glargine. We're going to talk about these trade names are Levamir and Lantus. All right, so we're going to refer to them as their trade names. That's what you're going to hear them referred to as is Levamir or Lantus. These are given for hyperglycemia, obviously, with diabetics who are type 1 and type 2, uh, and it can be given as well for diabetic ketoacidosis. The way that it works is that insulin, as we've talked about in the other lectures, stimulates the uptake of glucose into the muscles uh, and fat cells. And by doing this, it inhibits the production of glucose in the liver, and it prevents the breakdown of fat and protein for energy and allows us to use glucose for energy. So Detmir, so the duration time for these long-acting insulins is 24 hours. Detmir has an onset of 3 to 4 hours, peak time of 3 to 14 hours, and a duration of 24 hours. Lantus has an onset of 3 to 4 hours and a duration of 24 hours with no peak time. So that's why Lantus is a really common insulin. It doesn't have a peak, and so you get a very consistent uh, level and a le- very consistent dose throughout the entire 24 hours. Therapeutic class for these medications is anti-diabetic and hormone. Pharmacologic class is pancreatic. The biggest things you want to keep in mind with these drugs and with every insulin is you really want to be monitoring blood sugars routinely, okay? Because a patient who is diabetic can end up with very high blood sugars, right? But a patient who's taking insulin can end up with very low blood sugars and a very hypoglycemic. So it's very important that you're monitoring closely that they're not going too far on either range. And we're trying to maintain their blood sugars as stable uh, and as normal as possible. You also want to monitor blood sugars, you know, routinely throughout the day. And then you also want to monitor hemoglobin A1C every three to six months to give us this continual average range of what their blood sugars have been over a three month span. Now, insulin can cause hypokalemia because insulin can bring potassium into the cell. So it's really important that you monitor potassium levels as well, especially in patients who are critically ill and are going to have ranging blood sugars anyway, peaks and valleys, that we also want to monitor their potassium, their electrolytes with this, because we don't want to throw off their electrolytes so much by giving insulin to treat hyperglycemia and then cause a cardiac issue. So you really need to monitor your patient completely, okay? This is why it's really important to be looking at the holistic picture, right? What's the blood sugars? What's the neurostatus? What's the electrolytes? Because these all play in together with just this one medication you know, it really plays a role in a lot of areas. The lowest blood sugars I've ever seen in a hospital where we're able to revive the patient was a blood sugar of 12. We got called for a rapid response, went there, found the blood sugars were 12. The patient was completely non-responsive, completely diaphoretic, and saturated the sheets in sweat. And so what we had to do then is we had to give them glucose really quickly. We had to get them to the ICU, put them on a very intense blood sugar monitoring, and then, and then provide them with the glucose that they needed to try to bring their blood sugars up. The patient was able to be revived very quickly and started to respond very quickly, but 12 was about as low as I've seen it where the patient was able to be revived. So yeah, you really want to monitor blood sugars very closely and really keep a close eye on your patients. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.